what we discounted was the fact that racism happens in our homes. It is a problem that affects every facet of life. I don't think that there is an area of life today that is untouched by elements of racism. Some of it we are conscious of, some of, much of it we just take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. Because your child reacts to what, how you react when you're watching TV. And you see President Zuma do anything and you say, that's black people. You see Minister Mcheto doing something, you say, that's black people. You see uh, 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 Doc Rampella uh, do something and you say, that's black people. Children then get it ingrained and that's the knowledge in the blood. And until such time that we start it, 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 dealing with it in our homes, we are going nowhere. Joining us now is the Minister of Arts and Culture, Mr. Nati Mtetwa. Of course, um, we're at quite a pivotal event where we are talking about the eradication of racism in the country. And of course, you've mentioned earlier a global movement as well. One of the key points um, that you stressed um, was that it's quite fundamental for us to establish a strategy in eradicating and fighting racism. And it has to be comprehensive because it has to address um, sexism and, and other aspects as well. Please just elaborate on this for us. The fundamental problems of a colonized society uh, over a period of time, especially in our continent with, which affects us, has been the problem of race, class and gender. People are taught to be racist. Nobody is born racist. So if people can be taught to be racist, they can be taught also to, to love. As a social cohesion advocate, uh, I think every South African needs to support this initiative. And so uh, the formation was long overdue. Uh, racism is a problem. Um, it might not be as widespread as we suspect, but really every incident of racism is something that we need to condemn and that we need to raise our voices. And I think what ANSA is doing is to provide a platform where people can step into this, recognize that racism is a cancer which has been programmed into our DNA because of the legacy of the past. But we are not victims that cannot help themselves. I've said it before that racism is a spiritual evil. Uh, it's something that's wrong. And churches and synagogues and mosques and temples have a huge role to play because of the infrastructure they have and their spiritual belief that this is wrong. Racism is wrong. 